Hello, and today I'm going to talk about the new tennis game that is coming out in about seven weeks. It's going to be released on uh, across all platforms, including uh, PC. So it's going to be available on Steam on May 22nd, 2018. So uh, I learned about this game because I read the uh, actually I read it in the news why the French opened its first tennis major to launch a gaming tournament, and I wonder with which game are they going to use. Is, are they gonna use Top Spin 4, which is my favorite tennis game? Um, and in the end, uh, I discovered that they are gonna use this new game called Tennis World Tour. So I'm very curious. I looked up uh, looked up this game, and uh, it's uh, developed by the uh, some veteran developers from the 2K studio who developed the Top Spin 4. Uh, so I have a very high hope for this game because uh, Top Spin 4 has been uh, Fantastic game, um, so I uh, have a high standard for this new game coming out. It's supposed to be a spiritual successor for Top Spin 4, since there's no Top Spin 5, and there's uh, no news as we hear. And also, Top Spin 4 doesn't support PC platform, which uh, which uh, I hate. I cannot play. I don't have a console uh, right now, so. I really hope they could release a PC version. I'll def definitely buy it. But uh, mm, yeah, so this is gonna be on PC, and I'm, I'm super happy about it. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna talk about some uh, uh, some of these tennis games I played, and also uh, have a look at the gameplay footage. So the f uh, let's first look at the tennis world tour footage. Uh, this is uh, from the PlayStation Access YouTube channel. Uh, so basically, this is beta version. It's uh, pre-released. So here you can see you can say uh, see not representative of final quality. As you can see, the gra graphic is good, but uh, I think there's uh, still something you can you can fine tune uh, before release. And the animation is um, I would say the animation is uh, a little bit problematic problematic, just like uh, Top Spin Four. The players the you don't really see their characteristic, the signature move, like Roger Federer's forehand, Roger Federer's uh, serve, are not so perfectly represented, uh, uh, depicted in the game, which I'm a little disappointed about, so, because when I first watched this gameplay footage, I, I thought it was just a random guy playing generic tennis, but it turned out it, it's Roger Federer, I didn't read this, I didn't read the scoreboard, I didn't realize it was Federer, so just by watching the gameplay, I didn't, I couldn't tell it was Federer. That tells how much uh, the animation sucks uh, in this game. Actually, also in Top Spin 4, the animation is not um, so good, not, not on point. It's good animation, but it's not like, uh, Nadal doesn't play like Nadal, it's just play like, a, you see this serve, it doesn't look like Federer at all. So in also in top speed four, you know, uh, Nadal does the forehand. He swing his forehand around his uh, head, or uh, swing his arm around his hand. Head. Uh, it was not uh, uh, represented in the game. Okay, here are some actual footage of top. So actual footage of top speed four gameplay. Turn on YouTube. I'm gonna show you this game. So Top Spin 4 is my favorite tennis game so far. Um, I played on PlayStation 3. So what I like about this game is that it's a kind of a, uh, it's more realistic. It has very good mechanics. Uh, you play it, you, especially if you play with the controller with the vibration, you can really feel like you are playing the game, playing tennis, not just playing a game, push button and win. So yeah. Uh, I hope the, that uh, the Tennis World Tour is going to uh, also hack these mechanics. Uh, but I think, I believe they will, because uh, based on the gameplay footage I we saw, it's pretty nice. Uh, you can see the power bar in the Tennis, L, uh, tennis World Tour footage, uh, just like uh, this uh, top speed for but here the player disabled power bar. Surely when you uh, when you power up, there's a there's a circle thing, like this thing. They indicates your power level. 
So if it's a, it's a full circle, you you are full power. So it's very interesting. So it's not you, you need to hold down the button to power up. It's not you press the button and that's it. Uh, and also there are other tricks and uh, simulation of other uh, play styles and uh, etc. So. so yeah, as you can see, the forehand of Nadal is not perfectly depicted. Like uh, his forehand is very generic. It's like a very flat forehand. Doesn't really show the strong topspin that he uh, Nadal generates usually. All right, come back to uh, tennis world tour. In this game, you can feel that the the player, the character's movement is still a little bit weird, derpy. Uh, when they are running towards the ball, towards the ball is not so well made. It's kind of like arcade, uh, as opposed to top spin four. But overall, I feel like this is a very interesting thing. It's a power shot. It could be faster. Let's look at the top spin, the movement of the player. Uh, so it's important to make the transition smooth. Like when a player cannot reach a ball, how do you make the animation? That's very important. As you can see, this ball I, uh, running towards his face, and he tried to avoid that. It's very interesting. So Top Spin 4 actually did a very good job in this kind of a generic animation. <laughs> and not specific signature move, but they do a very good job at uh, uh, simulating uh, the player's reaction in different situations. So you can see the slight step and uh, yeah, the, the, the entire uh, movement is just so much smoother than other games. Then, uh, yeah, and this uh, baby steps, starter steps, very nice. Look at this. Yeah, look, just look at the steps. It's very, very well done. It's uh, but you can't tell the difference, but just by comparing the footage here, actually how they run, it, it's just not that smooth. You can you can see that the legs just uh, derping around, <laughs> which is also a problem in other games. All right, so we come back. To, uh, we we can talk about uh, virtual tennis, uh, which I played also a little bit. This is virtual tennis four game footage I found. Uh, so this game is just arcade. You push button, and when you can see it's uh, uh, there's nothing simulating simulation uh, about this game. Uh, it's just purely run around and the push button, and your power is uh, stronger. You win. Your skill level is better, uh, your stats is higher, you win, let's say. Uh, but it's a beautiful made arcade game if you like tennis and you don't want to spend so much time to, to, to effort to learn mechanics that you play this game. So yeah, you can see the players run around like your weirds, weirdos. <laughs> It's just, it's just weird. It's too arcade-ish. Now I'll come back to have a look at tennis elbow. Actually, tennis elbow, tennis elbow doesn't doesn't have such a good transition animation. Like when you try to the player try to reach a ball but he cannot reach it. Uh, you can see here the the movement is awkward because the game itself is limited. Uh, no matter how well you mod it, so yeah, I made this video too many times. I don't remember if I talked about the tennis elbow. <laughs> In case I haven't talked about tennis elbow, so tennis elbow is a fantastic simulation uh, of tennis, and uh, it's developed by indie developers. So the graphic is kind of subpar. Um, um, you can see here actually. It looks beautiful here because this is a modded version. The venue is a picture of a real tennis venue, and uh, yeah, everything is modded. 
So this game is heavily dependent on the mod, modding community. Um, the mod is fantastic. The movement of the players, the animation are perfect. Sign, sign, their signature move is perfect. Um, Rush Ferris is served the forehand, backhand, spot on, perfect. Uh, you can see this serve, not all serve. It's just, it looks perfect. Look at that. It's just the graphic, the detail. It doesn't have the detail. It doesn't have the smooth consistency, the transition animation and such. Look at this anime. Look at this serve. It's exactly like Roger Federer, which is so much better than the other, so much better than Top 4, so much better than uh, Tennis World Tour. But this, this is what I like, a, a perfect representation of the, of the player's move. But as you can see, uh, beside the player's signature moves, it's kind of uh, uh, awkward when they try to reach the ball. Uh, they don't have the smooth transi transition, it's, it's not coherent or something. Yeah. Alright, that's uh, Tennis Elbow, is also one of my favorite games. I play a lot on PC. Um, um, they also they will have a, a new Tennis Elbow game. So tennis elbow three or four, I don't remember. It's gonna come out in a few years. Uh, let's see how that will uh, turn out. All right, so that's uh, that's, uh, that's uh, what I want to talk about. Now here's a real life tennis game. If this is me, like the real tennis. Although of course we play much slower than uh, you know professional players. As you can see. Um, and I think I want to mention this, the, yeah, the, the ball speed. So when you play top spin, you feel like the ball speed is kind of like this. It's extremely slow if you consider it, if, if it's a professional player, uh, which is uh, uh, weird, right? Tennis. All right. Let's see. In top spin, the ball speed is very slow. And I feel like it kind of slowed it down just to, to simulate the top spin, to simulate the control, maybe. Now, where's the gameplay? Jeez. All right, there you go. You see, this is a power shot. Power shot, even power shot is slower like this. Right, which real tennis doesn't behave like this. Real tennis probably just boom and fly across the map, uh, across the map, across the court. Yeah, this is one of the problem, you know, one of the issue I have with the top spin four. Okay, the animation is, is not spot on. It's okay over here for the gameplay, but the the ball speed is slow. It's kind of annoying. Which I hope is fixed in the new game. Right, so watch just a little bit. <laughs> have a look. Um, okay. I'm not sure. It doesn't look as powerful, as solid as Top Spin 4. The feel of Top Spin 4 is so much solid, so you know, so realistic, so real. This <laughs> Roger Federer is playing guitar. Here is look a, a little bit archaic. To be honest, it looks a little archaic. Um, yeah, I, I can't tell. I haven't played yet. So I, I play the other games. I can tell you, Virtual Tennis is 100% arcade. Uh, Top Spin 4 is a very nice simulation. You can really feel like playing tennis, especially if you're playing with controller vibration in your hand. <laughs> um, tennis Elbow is a very nice simulation. Um, this game it looks like a it looks like a hybrid of simulation and uh, arcade. I can't really tell. By just just by watching the gameplay, you, you have to play it yourself to know, to, to learn the mechanics to know if it's uh, uh, you know like a real tennis game. So for me, a good tennis game is the game that make you feel like you are playing actual tennis. If you just push a button and win, then it's probably not a good tennis game for me at least. All right, that's that's it for this video. Oh my god, it's been a little bit too long. I tried to record this video a few times and uh, I kind of uh, get, I got very frustrated with the, 
with the entire recording. Uh, the have to do it again. Just just do it one take. I don't want to cut. Uh, it's kind of a ha. Uh, and yeah. Anyway, <laughs> because I did it too many times, I don't remember which part I've talked about and which part I didn't. So I hope there's nothing re uh, repetitive in this video. If if I did repeat what I said twice, I'm sorry. Apologize. Just skip that part. Uh, it's so weird. I know. Oh, well. All right. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna stop it now.